Hey Deckers, Jagged Alliance 3 releases on the 14th of July and a huge thanks to THQ Nordic for giving us early access to test this one out on the Steam Deck and I'm happy to report it's running incredibly well out of the box. However, we did switch over to Proton Experimental for some of our testing as it does not have a compatibility status yet but I'm expecting this will be marked as verified in the coming weeks. Overall settings wise we did tweak things a bit, if we start with the medium preset and change the anti-aliasing to XESS, this was the better looking version for us, and then a few more tweaks of turning off things like vignette and the chromatic aberration, everything else can pretty much stay exactly as it was, and this will give you a very steady frame rate with the best looking as we can get it. This is quite a power hungry game, even with the medium settings around the 42 frames per second mark and around 27 watts on battery. So you are only going to get around an hour and a half to hour and three quarters gameplay on this one, sticking with the smooth 40. Now the controls do support the controller out of the box, so everything is pre matched and it does perform exceptionally well. You'll be looking at around 50 hours for a single playthrough depending on your playstyle and this will set you back around 45 dollars, 45 euros or 45 pounds depending on your currency. There is a day one patch coming as well, though there aren't many issues it may well improve performance slightly on the Steam Deck as well and this does also have multiplayer co-op for two players. Although you can eke out with the 40 frames per second on these medium settings, I do recommend that you actually cap this on the Steam Deck down to 30 and also in the game as well. This will reduce that power wattage down to the lower 20s, although it does still go up to the mid 20s depending on the environment and the game. This will get you closer to the 2 hour play mark. Overall this has been playing absolutely fantastically on the Steam Deck and even though there are so many more options for your characters and recruiting mercenaries and where to shoot people depending on where you are in cover, I actually found this a lot easier to understand and play through than the XCOM games. But if you are looking for a tactical turn based strategy game then Jagged Alliance 3 is definitely well worth the look. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into this one and I'll leave you with a little bit more gameplay without me talking. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Um, Michael here.